we're going to do the last prop of book one, book, uh, prop 48. So given square on BC is equal to the sum of square on AB and AC. I said the angle BAC is a right angle. First, first I'm going to construct a line from point A to D, um, which is perpendicular to AC, and also AD is equal to AB. And then complete triangle CAD. Okay, so from the previous plot, plot 37, we know the square um, in a right angle triangle, the square on um, CD is going to be equal to the sum of square on AD and the square on AC. I've also constructed that AB is also equal to AD. Therefore, square on AB is equal to square on AD. So let's substitute square on AD with square on AB and, and rewrite this. Okay, so we also know from the given square on AC and square on AB is equal to square on BC. So if you look at these two equations, and we can conclude that square on CD is equal to square on BC. Therefore, line CD is equal to line BC. Okay, so let's look at triangle CAB and CAD. So from what we got, CD equal to BC, and also constructed AD equal to AB, and also they have a shared line AC. Therefore, triangle CAD is equal to triangle CAB side side side. Therefore, equal angle share all the equal, uh, equal triangle share all the equal angles. Therefore, angle CAD is equal to angle CAB. And 
I've constructed that CA is perpendicular to AD. Therefore, CAD is a right, ang right angle. Then, angle CAB is also right. And this proves of ISA, therefore QED. And that's the end of book one. Thank you.